We just learned of one of the many seemingly random mitzvot that we are commanded to follow in this week's Torah portion. I want to focus on one as well, a different one than we just were taught by our bar mitzvah, one that is actually my favorite in Parsha Kitetse. We're told in Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 8, Ki tivne bayir chadash, Vesita me'ake legagecha, that when you build a new home, you're supposed to build a parapet, a small fence around the edges of your roof. Why? So that you are not liable. Literally, the Torah tells us, blood guilt does not fall upon you if someone or something should fall from your roof. Now keep in mind, if you've ever been to Israel or other parts of the Middle East, it's actually quite common that homes are built with flat roofs. In some cultures, that's because it was easier for every generation to move into that home and you would build a level on that home. So it would be a family home and you would have a third generation move into that home when a child got married and they build a level onto that roof and the roof would mean flat. There was another practical reason that prior to air conditioning, it gets quite hot, especially even at night in Israel. And so you would regularly sleep on the roof when it was so warm to cool off. If you're anything like me and you sleepwalk every once in a while, the parapet is probably a good idea. The Talmud in Bavakama goes even further to talk about this small fence we build around the roof. In Bavakama 15b, we're told that this requirement to build a parapet extends to all other potential hazards in our home. If you have a dog that may bite, you need to keep it on a chain or keep it on a leash. If you have a ladder, you need to make sure it's stable, lest somebody climbs upon it and tumbles over and falls. Essentially, what we're told is that our home, it is our responsibility to make it safe and to make it a safe haven for anybody who we invite into our home. That is each of our jobs. Whatever we call home, it needs to be warm, and welcoming, and inclusive, and most importantly, safe. Pretty straightforward, makes sense. We don't always follow through on that, but the idea makes sense. However, I think this time of year, as a Jewish community prepares for the high holidays, prepares for Rosh Hashanah, there's a Hasidic comment on this very verse which speaks more about our nishamot, about our souls in this moment. Rabbi Dov Ber Leova, the 18th century Hasidic master of Moldova, teaches that the reason the text says you shall build a parapet around your home and your roof, legagecha, is because it's actually not talking about a physical structure at all. If it was talking about our house, it would say to build a fence around it. But he suggests, the reason it says your roof, it's talking about the upper echelons of ourselves. So then what does it mean that we build a fence around the upper echelons of ourselves? This month of Elul, this Hebrew month leading up to the High Holidays, we're told that we dedicate these weeks to doing chashbon hanefesh, an accounting of our souls. We spend the end of the Jewish year preparing for the new year by thinking about who we are, who we were, and truly who we want to be. Right, where we want to be in the year to come. In order to do that, we need to acknowledge, which is the hardest thing to do, our mistakes, our transgressions. We need to acknowledge where we fell short. But what we also know is that it's so easy to be haughty, 
to be big-headed, to be egotistical, to be full of ourselves and confident in who we are. And when we're that big-headed, that is when we fall from grace. That is when we fall off of our metaphorical roots. So what the, this commentary of Dov Ber is telling us is that especially now, as we prepare for Rosh Hashanah, but each and every day, we need to build a fence around ourselves to think before we speak, before we act, think about our behavior, lest we fall, lest we create an unsafe situation for another, lest we say something that even unintentionally hurts or harms or offends another, lest we make our homes unsafe and unstable. This sugya of the Talmud, which I spoke about earlier, which talks about that this extends to all aspects of our homes, says that even if somebody lives alone, they're required to make their home safe. Not for themselves, but because of our obligation of haknasad rahim, of welcoming people into our homes, knowing that we can't truly welcome somebody into our homes if our home is unsafe. And so too, we're not meant to live on a deserted island. We're not meant to separate ourselves from community. Rabbi Hillel teaches all tifros min hatzibor. We're meant to connect with each other and with community. And especially now as we prepare for the year 5783, may we build fences around ourselves, around our souls, so that we think before we speak, we think before we act, so that any time we come in contact with another, they are safer and more sacred because of it, lest we fall from grace, lest someone falls off of our roots.